the question of liberty. And this happened in the case of Ezaki Ezaki and his wife, which I defended. The defense of the government initially was to say, oh, we are detaining them for state security. And the court said, can we have the facts? Because it is the court that determines what is state security, not the executive. Mm, yeah, because I was, I was going and there. when that couldn't be supplied, oh, okay. The government lawyer said, oh, we are detaining them. We are keeping them in protective custody. And the court had to ask the Honorable Justice Kola Wale, who is now of the Court of Appeal, what do you mean by protective custody? Because you can only detain an adult. You can only put an adult in a protective custody. Maybe he, has, he or she has a contagious disease. Maybe like Ebola. And you do not want the, the disease to spread to the community. You can quarantine. The law, there is a quarantine act that empowers the president or the governor of his state in such circumstances to order that the person be quarantined. But other than that, you can't say you are putting him in protective custody. And the court ordered that the man and his wife be released. But you can't come out and say, oh, we're not going to release them on the ground of state security when the court has ordered their release. I think this is a problem. So that's a, the a attempt to, Yes. The attempt to use, to hide under the bogey of national security to justify disobedience to court order is a problem. Is this also a problem where we saw that uh, raid on Edwin Clark's house? Yes. And then the, uh, now it, it, has, it has resulted in a ripple effect. As a matter of fact, the militants are saying they are back to the Greeks. Is that as a result of the action of the police that is, seems to be one that is unguided, that is fueling this kind of agitation? You know, when a government disobeys a court order, no, by the way, Section 287 of the Constitution provides that all authorities and persons in Nigeria shall comply with the judgment and decisions of all competent courts. So when a government says, I am not going to obey court orders, such a government is inviting anarchy and chaos. And mind you, the rule of law transcends court orders. The rule of law simply defined is a principle in which all authorities and persons, public and private, including the government itself, are accountable to the laws made in a state. And those laws must be publicly promulgated or enacted, they must be equally enforced and independently adjudicated by a court or by the court or tribunals. Once you give the impression in the state that we are not banned by law, that we operate above the law, you are inviting anarchy and chaos. And that is what is going on. You are going to invade the house of a 92-year-old man without any basis other than to subject him to some mental trauma or agony. But, 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 but they must have gotten some kind of intelligence, which you back very likely, as we heard from your, your submissions in that forum. Uh, the, the police had intelligence reports that he was harboring uh, firearms, and so got... No, that is the claim. They, yeah, they got, they got the, uh, uh, they, they, the they, claim rights. Though. they got that the rights to go claim. into his house. That is a claim. Again, I'm not saying that any house is above being sacked in Nigeria. Once you have such evidence, it must be credible, it must be reasonable. Yeah. You can approach a court for yeah, such but, but in this case, they apologized and no, said, no. In this those case, who because went there was on. no basis for it, an apology has been tendered. The fellows involved have been arrested and they have been detained, but they must be charged as soon as possible with the offenses they have committed. And Chief Clark, if he goes to court, is entitled to compensation for the violation of his right to privacy, the privacy of his own. 
but the government has to demonstrate and distance itself from the criminality of the policemen that carried out that exercise. So that others will know that you can't get away with such action in the future. But what happens in the case where, back to this rule of law and national security, because if there's a protest somewhere and security agencies have information from their intel that this may likely degenerate and they're moving based on that, does that then suggest that the court will always have to determine if people go to court in that circumstance saying, no, this... No. Oh, again, uh, when Ghana marked uh, 50th anniversary, that was in 2007, I was in Accra, and I was, I was flabbergasted to discover that the Inspector General of Police approached the court for an order that some young people were going to protest at the stadium where the ceremony uh, was going to take place where foreign heads of state have been invited to celebrate with Ghana. And that is rule of law. Because there's freedom to demonstrate in Ghana, just like here. But what did the court do? The court made it clear to the Inspector General of Police, we cannot ask them not to demonstrate. But what we can do is to ask them not to disrupt the ceremony, because that may embarrass Ghana. And that may lead to a counter uh, protest. What they should therefore do is to have their protest in another part of Accra. And that was how it was handled. In this, in here, in this country, by coincidence, the AMPP had organized uh, some rallies in 20, 2003 to protest the rigging of election. General Buhari was in the rally in Kano when the police invaded the place and disbanded the rally. People were tear gassed, and that was what was said to have led to the death of uh, uh, Dr. Chuba Okadibu. I was briefed by the ANPP and 10 other political parties, and I went to court for them. The court held that the right to demonstrate in Nigeria it's a constitutional right. So we won that battle in 2006. The police appealed to the Court of Appeal and lost. But what we now have in Nigeria to take care of the fear you have expressed. Now, if the police have information that a protest may degenerate, mm -hmm. right? The police will have to approach the court. Approach the court? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. We'll need to go to break. We'll yes. come back and let you share some light, more light on this matter in a moment. Join us again.